Office 2010 adding fields with calculations. Okay, so we're going to go to a query and then we're going to go to the design view. So this query shows the names and surnames as well as the average price um, that these members pay for books that they buy. So let's imagine for a moment they've decided to make a donation towards um, a school library based on the average price that they pay for books. Okay, so let's say that they've decided they're going to donate 50% um, of the average price that they pay for books towards the school. Okay, so you're going to go to um, your query design view. And then here where you usually add your different fields, you're going to type in a name for this new field. In this case, we're going to call it donation. Then you're going to put in a colon. Okay, you can ignore all the other stuff underneath that. And then you're going to type in the calculation. So the calculation is going to be the average price, and you have to put that in block brackets, average price. Okay. And... We want 50% of that, so times 0 0.5. Or you could have just divided it by 2. You can make this wider so you can see everything in one glance. Okay. And this is what you call a calculated field. So this field does not exist somewhere in a table like name, surname, or average price. It only exists within the query when you run the query. Okay, so if we were to run this query now, we can go to our design tab and select run. Here you'll see what the average price is that they spend on books. And here is 50% of that, the donation that they're going to, to make towards um, a school. Okay, so let's go back to our design view just quickly. Um, also remember that you can now change your properties here. So you can right click on the field name, uh, then select properties. And for instance, you can ensure that the format is correct. So let's make the format currency. So if we were to run the query again, it will display that last donation column as currency.